By show of hands, how many people in here have customers who could use an attitude adjustment? If I... You have to think about your attitude and you have to check your attitude because if you don't, one of those days can very quickly turn into two of those days. And then three and four and five and six and seven and everybody in here knows someone, could be somebody sitting in here right now, who's had like five years in a row worth of one of those days. And that's not okay. Loved uh, the speech that he had to bring today. I liked Matt too, I loved his story. Everything is your attitude. I mean, we can make a total difference. When you get up in the morning, is it good, is it not good, you know, whatever, but it's all your attitude. It seems like such a straightforward message, you know, attitude is everything and things like that, but when you hear somebody really kind of put it in that context, it kind of takes it to a whole nother level and it makes you almost go back and kind of reassess what you're doing to kind of support that message with your own people and to yourself. So, you know, really great to just kind of get a different perspective, a little bit different attitude, so to speak, on it. And uh, no, I think that, you know, he really kind of framed things up a lot differently than I ever would have expected. See, and we're afraid sometimes to, to take the action and to get uncomfortable to get from here to there. But I've been to the places where, where they've got the contaminate. I mean, we've got it in our country now, don't we? See, and lots of us have first world problems. We get up in the morning and we say, oh, it's cold outside and there's nine inches of snow. And, and I don't know if I want to go to work today. When most of us, if the temperature's not right for us, what do we do? We walk over to the thermostat and do what? Just change it. So we have first world problems. And we spend the majority of our time each day checking our Fitbits burning off the excess food and drink that we've had. Now, I'm not mad at us for that because we've been put in a position where we can come to conferences and we can come to programs like this and leave our families and our businesses and we can get better. I'm not mad at us. It's a privilege that we have. I really believe because of that privilege, we've got to take action to do the best that we can for our customers, for our team, and for our families. I could relate to what he was saying through that whole thing and the attitudes, but it was a very good story. Matt Booth was interesting in how he tied it all together when it came together at the end and, and essentially painted a great picture of how your attitude influences everything around you. I switched it up and I mixed songs from Casey Kasem's Top 40, right? From 1988, George Michael, Billy Ocean, Whitney Houston, Def Leppard. Nothing. I did everything I could to get people out here. I played the Hokey Pokey. I played the... I even played the chicken. Three times. That could have added to the problem. This isn't going to be a conversation about the sound of music and sunshine and rainbows because I live in the real world the same as you. When I get home this weekend, I gotta try to get my yard all figured out, you know, get the leaves up. And my wife and I, we've gotta sit down. We've got a basket in our house. It's about this big and it's full of bills, like utility bills and stuff. And we gotta sit down and we gotta figure all that out. So uh, this isn't one of those speeches about just being positive all the time and singing, okay? Uh, it's just not that way. I live in the real world, but I believe it's okay to have one of those days because everybody has one of those days. No one can be positive 100% of the time. Life happens, doesn't it? It's impossible. I'm positive like 87% of the time, which means what? 13% of the time, I, I'm not all that positive. And you may see that while I'm up here. It's okay to have one of those days. Just make sure, and you have to check your attitude because very quickly, one of those days can turn into two of those days. And then two becomes three, and four, and five, and everybody in here knows someone. There's people sitting in here right now who've had like five years in a row worth of one of those days.
everyone. <laughs> it's got a good story. It's got a very good story. So I like it. Every everybody. Customer service would be really good for that to just show that your attitude can change anything. Potentially would be good for leaders as well, just to show that they can really change the attitude of their teams as well. He kind of translates across the board. You know, it doesn't matter if you're in education, it doesn't matter if you're in corporate America, it doesn't matter if you're in a, like I said, you know, an international type of corporate system. I mean, he's one of those guys who his message is good. You're going to find something in it for you. And he's really going to bring something to the table that you're going to take away and feel like he was speaking directly towards you and your business. Nobody in here is immune to heartache, is immune to pain or sorrow. We all have bad days. It's called life. Nobody is immune to that. And it's okay to have one of those days. It happens. People that struggle keeping the right attitude or people that have employees that don't have good attitudes that always go to the worst case scenario and understanding how that can negatively impact their team. Any leaders or managers would benefit from it because in most cases, or in some cases, pe people come to work with kind of a frown or a downer attitude. Your attitude sets a tone for the day, whether it's your, your, your peers or your the people that report to you, whatever. So you set the tone, so it better be positive right away. But he, he really brought that out with his whole wedding cake uh, example. So pick an attitude and make it a good one. Very good, very funny, engaging, very good story. You see, long after the cake and the food are gone, long after the speeches are over, and long after the decorations are put away, and the last song is played by the DJ, people remember how they feel. And attitude is a huge part of that.